please stand. Sings. He chastens and hastens his will to make known the wicked oppressing now cease from distressing. Sing praises to his name, he forgets not his own. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And on this Thanksgiving Day, we offer this Mass for all of our parishioners. And my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament. To strengthen us in holiness. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Father all powerful, your gifts of love are countless, and your goodness infinite. As we come before you on Thanksgiving Day, with gratitude for your kindness. Open our hearts to have concern for every man, woman, and child, so that we may share your gifts in loving service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Sirach. And now bless the God of all, who has done wondrous de things on earth, who fosters people's growth from their mother's womb and fashions them according to his will. May he grant you joy of heart and may peace abide among you. May his goodness toward us endure in Israel to deliver us in our days. The word of the Lord. up the lowly 
from the dust From the dunghill he lifts up the poor To seat them with princes With the princes of his own people Blessed be the reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge. As the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you so that you were not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus continued on his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten persons with leprosy met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voices, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing that he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice, and he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were there not? Where are the other nine? Has no one but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. I suppose it's perhaps part of our fallen human nature that very often our first tendency is to focus upon the problems that we have rather than the blessings that we have received. That we often tend to focus on things that we want rather than the things that God has blessed us with, things that we have. And so I think it's all the more important that we have a day such as today, this Thanksgiving Day, in which we do focus upon the blessings that God has placed in our lives when we thank God for the many good gifts that God has given to us. And perhaps it's even more important than ever than a year such as this year, a year in which we have faced so many hardships all around the world, a time in which perhaps we may be focused so much on the difficulties that we have in our lives. It is important for us to stop and remember the blessings, the good things God has placed in our lives. As you may be aware, the national holiday of Thanksgiving itself was instituted by Abraham Lincoln. And he did so during the darkest days of the Civil War. It was at a time when our nation probably thought they really had nothing to be thankful for. And yet Abraham Lincoln and the nation realized 
how important it is to turn to God in thanksgiving, and perhaps even more important to do so during times of difficulty and hardship. And so today we ask God to give us a greater awareness of his blessings, to give us a greater awareness of the many gifts that he has given us in our lives, and to fill our hearts with thankfulness. Aware that each day of our life is an invitation to thank God for his countless gifts, in gratitude we turn to God our Heavenly Father with our prayers. Our response is, Lord of life, hear our prayer. For the Church in the United States, that it will reflect the presence of Christ and will draw into her embrace all those who are in need and searching for the love of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of life, life hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all lawmakers and civil leaders, that they will abide by the gospel of Jesus in their every action, word spoken to those they govern. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of life, life, hear our prayer. prayer. For, who, for all who are able to share their resources with others, that they will give graciously to those in need and offer their gifts with love and mercy. In God's name, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of life, life, hear our prayer. For all the sick of the parish, that they may know the healing touch of Christ in their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. For all those who have died, especially those recorded in our book of remembrance, and for the happy repose of the soul of Marge Del Elmo, we pray to the Lord. Lord of life, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, gratitude fill our hearts today as we recall all you have given us. Keep us ever thankful and generous in your holy service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. charity and love prevail, their God is ever found, brought here together by Christ's love, by love are we thus bound, with grateful joy and holy fear, God's charity we with heart and mind and soul now love God in return pray my sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all of his holy church God our Father from whom's hand we have received generous gifts, so that we may learn to share your blessings and gratitude. Accept these gifts of bread and wine, and let the perfect sacrifice of Jesus draw us closer to all of our brothers and sisters in the human family, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. You have entrusted to us the great gift of freedom, a gift that calls forth responsibility and commitment to the truth that all, all, that all, to the truth that all have a fundamental dignity before you. In Jesus, through his death and resurrection, we find our ultimate redemption, freedom from sin in every blessing. And so, with hearts full of love, we join the angels today and every day of our lives to sing your glory as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Bless 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to a second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Matthias, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession, in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and his assistant bishops, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, being bestowed in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive
forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. You shall under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. this bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be hungry. Eat this bread, drink this cup, trust in me and you will not thirst. I am the bread of life, the true bread sent from the Father. Eat this bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be in me and you will not thirst. Your answer
sisters ate manna in the desert but this is the bread come down from heaven eat this bread drink this cup come to me and never Trust in me and you will not thirst. Eat my flesh and drink my blood and I will raise you up on the last day. Eat this bread, drink this cup come to me and never be hungry eat this bread drink this cup trust in me and you will not thirst Let us pray. In this celebration, O oh Lord our God, you have shown us the depths of your love for all your children. Help us, we pray, to reach out in love to all your people, so that we may share with them the goods of time and eternity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Oh.